right, today we have a great video for you guys. We're gonna be doing water soluble vitamins by HPLC. I know all you mothers do this one, so this is gonna be a good one. As you know, vitamins are separated into two classes. You have your fat soluble vitamins and your water soluble vitamins. They dissolve differently, so um, they can't be run together. So today we're just gonna be focusing on water soluble vitamins. Even within water soluble vitamins, we're gonna have to prepare the sample twice. The reason why we have to do that is because for three of the water soluble vitamins, that's uh, riboflavin, folic acid, biotin, those need high pH to dissolve. So we're gonna have to use our um, sodium hydroxide, a little bit of this to, to dissolve that. And for the vitamin C, it needs low pH to be stable. So that's why we have this phosphoric acid solution right here. So we're gonna prepare the samples twice and run them separately. If you see a chromatogram where you know they get everything in one run, that's bullshit. I mean, you'll see a peak, but the recoveries on uh, vitamin C are gonna be trash. So you really wanna run these separately. So over here, I have vitamin powder. We're gonna weigh about 500 mg of each. We base this on the label claim. I'll be talking in a separate video how to read labels and how to know what to weigh out and what to prepare. But for now, you know, based on our sample, we're gonna need 500 mg of this two times. So let's get going. All right, let's get started with the weighing. All right, so I got powder, check. I got my smart spatula. Let's first uh, tear the weigh belt. So let me give my balance a little reach around here. Okay, get that zeroed out. Let's start weighing. All right. All right, let's check to see if that's good. All right, that should be about good enough. So this is gonna be for the high pH mix. Um, let's weigh out another 500 mg for the ascorbic acid. So now we have our two sets of samples. So um, we have this one boat, that's gonna be for the ascorbic, and we're gonna have this one boat for uh, the rest of the vitamins. All right, so this is gonna be for our high pH solution. So let's pour the sample in carefully into the volumetric, spin that. And then we wanna rinse off whatever's on the boat. Let's grab our water and let's do a rinse. And then we wanna top it off like halfway before we vortex and sonicate. And then we want to add approximately 20 drops of sodium hydroxide. This is to increase the pH. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 20 drops. Okay, that's done. All right, let's just cap that and let's vortex and sonicate. Ooh. And then this will go off into the sonicator. Let's do that again for the ascorbic sample. Take our sample here. Let's rinse off, but this time with the phosphoric acid. Wash off what's off the boat. And then let's top it off. Again, about halfway. So let's cap that and vortex and sonicate. So these are good now. We allowed these to cool to room temperature. Um, so they're ready to, to top off. So for this test sample, let's top this off with our water. And let's top that off. And then we wanna just make sure it's hitting the meniscus. All right, perfect. Give this one another vortex. Okay, and now this is ready to be filtered and uh, placed in the HPLC. Now, the filter that we're gonna use for water-soluble vitamins is a nylon filter. Nylon is great because it's great for aqueous um, type mixtures or aqueous and organic type mixes. I prefer to use uh, uh, this SVX uh, nylon filter. It's pretty much a, a nylon filter with a glass fiber pre-filter. The reason why you want a glass fiber pre-filter is because it makes the um, sample easier to push through. A lot of these vitamin mixes, they get kind of cruddy or they get kind of junky and give that a lot of pressure to kind of push it through. And especially um, since we're doing UHPLC, we're using the 0.2 micron filter. So the rule of thumb is 
0.5 micron columns and above, you can use 0.45 micron filters. Three micron and below, you wanna use a 0.2 micron filter. The smaller the pore size, the harder it's gonna be to push. So that's why the, the glass fiber pre-filter is, is a nice addition. So let's do that. Let's get some sample out. Let's take out the plunger, pour some of this in, get that on. And then just let some of the air out, get that filter on. And then again, we're using an amber vial. All right, filter into the vial. See how easy that is? Boop, that's done. Ready for the HPLC. Now we're gonna repeat the same thing for ascorbic. We're gonna get that phosphoric acid solution. We are going to top this off. And then when it gets close, we're just gonna top off the solution a little bit until it hits the meniscus. Right about there. So give it another vortex and a spin. So again, we're gonna do this again with the other filter. We're gonna take the ascorbic sample, add that in, plunger in. Again, let some of the air out into our second vial. All right, and then let's just label these. So this is gonna be for the water-soluble vitamins, and this one's gonna be for the vitamin C. So basically we're gonna have one vial that's gonna be for all the vitamins and then another vial for just vitamin C. We're gonna get these into the HPLC and, and let's go ahead and let's go knock that out. 